Okay, so Light as a Feather season two premiered on Hulu on the 26th, which I completely forgot about this show. Like season one was was okay. It wasn't like the greatest thing of all. I didn't forget the characters and all of that. So I wasn't really expecting a season two. So I was surprised when I got on Hulu and I saw it on there. I don't go on Hulu often because all their shows, they only have one good show running at a time, I believe. Um, like now it's, um, and I watch the show every Wednesday, what is wrong with me? Um, the Handmaid's Tale, and but they do it every Wednesday, the new episode every Wednesday, they don't put it all for everybody to binge. So I usually go on Wednesdays to watch my shows. And then I might see another show and I'll say, oh, let me check that out. But yeah, I just went on it. I don't really know why I went on it. Was it today? No, yesterday after I finished watching Another Life on Netflix, I went on there and I saw that they had season two. So I started watching it. First things first, each episode is like 25 minutes, which I'm already pissed off. And it's only eight episodes and I'm seriously pissed off. And, um, because like, what the hell, 25 minute episode and eight episodes, that's like two and a half hours, two hours and 40 minutes, <laughs> something like that worth of shows. Like you can wax that off in no time. But anyway, I sat and I watched it and I had to like refresh my mind of what happened and who everybody is. And let me tell you, episode one through five was a snooze fest. It was like nothing. It was nothing's going on at all. It was like they dragged it, they dragged it, they dragged it, they dragged it. And nothing exciting happened until episode six. And even then, it was still blah. And then right as it was getting good on episode eight, it ended. Like, they are not trying to hook me for a third season. Like, this season two was the worst piece of trash, like, ever. Episode six through eight was okay. And that's it. The rest of it was pure garbage. Like, I don't understand why they even wasted their time. Like, I was praying that they wouldn't have a season three because then I would be forced to watch it because I'm already invested in it. So I would be forced to watch it to see what go, what's going on. But it did end on an okay note. So I'll be, I, I think I'll forget it within a month. But then be surprised again when it does come back up. But it, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. Season one was at least a little bit better because it was new. But the one thing I don't get with the show is at first I thought it was like a, a ghost thing where it was like a haunting or something like that but it it's 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 hard to explain it, they say it's a curse but it, they have what they call a chrysalis on their back and shit and it's causing them to kill people and, and giving them supernatural abilities to see how people die and stuff like I don't get it. It's it's a weird show, but I watched it. I'll give it maybe a 0.5 out of 5. It's not even worth the one because it just wasn't that good at all. <laughs>